guys, welcome to Uppya Sarangi. Did you watch the teaser of Love with Marriage and Devo season 3? I did. How did you feel after watching it? I felt very disappointed. If you have already watched the season 3's teaser and you liked it, then please don't watch this video because you are going to get annoyed and irritated with my review of the teaser. And whatever I'm going to share in this video are purely my opinions regarding the teaser and I have no intention to hurt anyone's feelings. I have never seen such a teaser. Rather than feeling like a teaser telling what 16 episodes has, it felt like a precap of an episode. It has nothing interesting and nothing surprising except Dongi slapping Sapion and Boo Hairon and Sogan getting intimate. Well, these two things might turn out to be a dream or an imagination just like many shocking and interesting things in season 2 turned out to be. Most of the things in this teaser are either something we have already watched in season 2 or something that we have already expected. For example, in season 2's last episode, we have seen how Jia being possessed by Shinkirin's ghost went to Shinyushin's house to strangulate Dongmi. This teaser has that particular scene. Also, we have seen how Songwen got labor pains in season 2. So it's obvious that she will give birth to a baby in season 3. This teaser has this scene too. And regarding the nameless and faceless guy in front of Lee Seon, it could be Park Hyun or some new guy. While watching season 2, didn't we all think that Lee Seon deserves a new guy who cherishes her? And after seeing Nam Gabin dumping Park Hyun, didn't we think that he would go back to Lee Seon and ask her some forgiveness? I too even thought that if he is shameless enough, he would ask Lee Seon to take him back because he has no one now. So it is nothing surprising either. As per my knowledge, teasers are cut out in a way including interesting and eye-grabbing scenes from the series in order to attract the viewers and make him want to watch the drama. But this teaser is nothing like that. Season 1 and Season 2's teasers were really good. Despite of such eye-grabbing teasers, Half of the series episodes felt like boring and felt like unnecessarily dragged. This season 2's teaser itself is not so good. I wonder what the 16 episodes has to offer us. The gap between season 1 and season 2 is just 3 months. So it's understandable that they did not get much time to create as they wanted to. But now it's 6 months gap. So I hope their efforts and our wait doesn't end up in vain. The teaser could have been better if they included the other important characters from season 2. Where is Dongma? Where is Namgabin? And where is Amy's biological father Dr. Wong? There are many questions left unanswered in season 2, of which we are very curious. For example, Amy's birth father Dr. Wong. He fell down from the horse. What happened to him? His wife got to know about his affair before marriage, which resulted in Amy's birth. What did she say to him? But they did not include any of these interesting things. In short, if I were the person who had final say on this teaser, I would have just rejected it and told them to make something better. I just wish the season 3 to turn out to be better and not to disappoint us. I wonder if it is their idea to make the teaser in such a way that kills their viewers expectations so that we watch the drama with zero expectations and then get excited and thrilled while watching the season 3. If it is, then I must say they are successful. I wish that it is their idea and I hope that they would not drag this season to season 4 and wrap it up nicely in the season 3. What do you think about this teaser and my review? Do let me know in the comment section below. That's it with today's video. 
for more updates on this drama do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video until then ta ta bye bye take care